the cat, meet Lily. She's a lovely girl. She really is. Well, he says, I'm going, going this way. Over there, look. Who is that? Hmm? My goodness. I need a cameraman. I, I really do need um, a cameraman. Um, at times like this, especially with the little Antaresia um, species being so, so little as they are. But Lily was at her door um, begging to come out and I just thought, well, okay, that's, that's not a problem. Um, and the difference, you know, you know, Car's just this tiny little squirt and Lily's this, you know, great big girl. He can go into her enclosure and <laughs> have a look around and I'm sure he'll enjoy climbing in there and Lily will go back in and go, who's been in my enclosure? Whose scent is, is that? I can smell, uh, you know, <laughs> looking at Car in there. You know, he's, he's just such a tiny little, little fellow. Uh, he'd like almost, you know, he'd curl up and completely disappear on me, uh, pretty much, in, in Missy's. You've got another snake crawling, crawling around in your enclosure, Lily, and she's probably thinking, well, oh, you know, what does it matter? You know, Jack used to do that to me all of the time. And yeah, that, that happened quite often where they would actually swap. And Lily would go and lay in Jack's for a while. And Jack used to come and lay in hers for a while. And then they later on, each of them would come out and then return to their own closures. I don't see why, of course, little car can't do the same thing um go and explore <laughs> lily's enclosure you know which has so much more space than his so uh you know i think car would do all right in even this size but it's just not essential for him um lily of course it is essential for her to have you know this this particular size enclosure, which if you're not aware is um, 1800 by 600 by 600. And it's, it's quite good for Lily. Uh, she certainly does not like a lot of height where the likes of Lily, oh, Tessa and Jack, oh, Jack liked it. But as you know, Jack is no longer with me. I'm trying to say Tessa to you um, really likes to have the height her Bradleys are incredible for climbing so I, I do have to keep my, he's going up under the heat over there and Lily's Lily's not really going anywhere I think she's just kind of sensing that there is there is somebody um, different in her enclosure at this particular point isn't there? Can't even see your head. Where is your head? Oscar has shed. So I would really like to um, get him out so that you can um, just see how beautiful he's looking. And there's Carl just checking it all out over there I can't see where his his head is at this particular point Oop, it's not up there at all but it's nice and warm over there because it is uh, right up um, under the heat panel for him and Lily are you going to come out And she says, there's somebody else in my enclosure, Mum. Oh, there he is. 
There he is, just exploring. Just checking things out. He'll end up coming back up this way. Um, most definitely, Lily will make a decision one way or the other uh, whether she's going to come in or out. But, you know, just a little bit of the day, what's happening here, and uh, all is good at this particular point and you know I've said many times to everybody I don't don't want to make my videos always I guess the word is you know the care of I don't I don't want to do vlogs either um, but I do want to do more just family orient well m when i say family orientated i i truly mean family orientated when it when it comes to my animals here that's what i want my videos to be more about this year is just my day to day just what might be happening on the day and sometimes there's a lot going on and other times there's not very much going on at all. And I only have a, a, a window, a certain window to time frame more so that I can pick up the camera and I, I can do a video with lots of kids around and especially a two-year-old who can be a little bit demanding on his nana for attention which is you know totally understandable and I'm good with that but I am struggling to to pick up the camera and find time to do a video and also to edit one and you know I don't do a lot of edit to any of my videos. Uh, I just, it is what it is. I, I don't cut things out. I don't uh, sit down and write, I'm going to do this particular scene, that I'm going to do that particular scene. It, my snakes are the scene. And it is what they're doing and I'm, I really want to just sort of spin this around just so you can see him you know just just sitting up there like Jackie he is like king of the castle in a big oh he's going to go into Lily's uh, um, moss box and you know what happens when car goes into a moss box he he just disappears into it he's gone but anyway guys Mm, there's Lily and today both her um, and Miss the Blister down here are going to have their, their bellies filled so I and a few of the others of course as well that are due for a feed and Jimmy also sent me a beautiful card with pictures of his babies um, on there so thank you um, so much um, Jimmy um, it was beautiful um, to get that yesterday but anyway guys car and yes going in oh, I've got too much too much out here blocking but He's going into a moss box. He'll burrow in and disappear and play his hide and seek game. That's what the funny is here. You never know what's going to happen next. Take care of yourself, your family, your friends, your snakes, your big, big, and little snakes. And all your animals. Hey Leo, where's Sunny? Sunny is not in a good mood today, guys. 
She truly is not in a good mood today. She has even put herself back into her her cage. It's not like Sunny. Anyway, ciao.